Find a way inside sunken temple. Well, this is interesting. Hmm. Sunk into the sand, I believe. Well, he gets a lot of traveling miles during this game. That moon is slightly weird, I think. Or is it, is it sun? I don't know. Sunken desert temple. I better get down there. I hate snakes. Probably need a rope or something. One bullet. Key item. Rope. The temple of Nephron lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pooled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun. A message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Mighty interesting. Well, of course. Okay, where to? Here we go. Did he lost the rope? I think he did. Oh, damn. It's the star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. The Taurus. And one star's clearly bigger. Must be important.
Okay, that's a... That's not a bad. That's kind of pointing in a totally wrong way. Okay. Jeremy could dream a bit more ammunition in, th in these scenes. Horizon. <laughs> that's that's like a gun sight. I wonder what I should do with it. Hey, healing drink. Hmm. Okay, it is a laser. Oops. So I said something aflame. Okay, good to know. You could basically use this as a self-defense. What an brick in in a in a tomb, right? Let's check this place out. Uh, I wonder if these are shantax or something. Fungi from the Yugoth. That's also a possibility. Pistol bullets. Huh. I'm missing, missing a lens.
can't take that. So it's some, some kind of final aiming device. Children of the Dark Sun. <laughs> okay. Do I have a... Uh, I have a sledgehammer. I like this. Oops. Something opened. Flappity, flappity. <clears throat> so what's in here? So he's missing the lens carrier. So I wonder where I can get one. Something opened. Okay, the stairs down. Nice. Incent, incent axe, basically. What's that hole for? Way to go with the sledgehammer. Star, a lens crafted with unexpected precision. So this is the final lens, I believe. Yeah. Don't need melee weapon just yet. I, I like this sledgehammer and I hope it heals because because it has been serving me very well. Mm. Okay, that's not it. We need a lens for that. But the downstairs door opened up. So let's get down there. Somehow. I can go this way. Strong, strong, maybe. <coughs> I 
No, I couldn't. So... How did I, this li feels like it's... Uh, breakable. Okay, it was breakable. I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? This is where we are already checked that. This is what we opened. Something is something over there, there, and new stairwell up here. Uh, this um, okay, opening a shortcut. That's that's totally fine. Okay, I pressed the right key, so that cancels it out. No guide guiding from the game. Okay, okay that 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 was easy. The underworld. Okay, so it's a, it's a lens. Funny thing, you can't use those other lenses again, but whatever. sound good. I suppose best before date has gone over already with this, uh, with this ruin, so this place might collapse. <laughs> Thanks for the care careless use of
Okay, that was. Oh no. Locals man happy. Just in the nick of time. Any lasers here? I, I don't have a melee weapon. Oh no. Oh no. One. So I must take the... Any hand-to-hand -hand weapons here. No. Sledgehammer kind of broke in a most be not the best time. What is going on? Okay, that seems suspiciously modern. Ice cream pick or something. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self deceit, temper manic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. So he needs to be cra crazy. Oh no. Oh no, F Fungi from Yokothar Cap capturing me. Okay, they are definitely taking me somewhere. Chapter 4 More typewriting. Hey, detective. <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I found some. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh yeah, I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? <laughs> Jeremy made a pact with the dark man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck? <laughs> oh. Oh. I worry, detective. Don't, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. You're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
so that's the Trackman's Contra. Uh, Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Jacob's Yet eye. Doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. The problem with this logic is that this place has been weird even before the environmental hospital here. Okay, only only one shotgun shell. So that's that's. Uh, let's check. Self deceit. That's self deceit that Jeremy right. thinks that Time he's saving something. Contract so we can get the hell out of here. Something tells me I'm gonna have to put my talisman to use. To be around here somewhere, he wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that detective fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Well, you know, like us. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. Mother? You don't need to know about all that. Just, go. Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God. Hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Just be ready in case he starts anything. So they are cultists. Hmm. I don't think we have been there, but I want to know what he is planning. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day all twelve members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the pirates of Pontchartrain. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Kassel did know, because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of their Seto's history.
Even the name Derseto is the great name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elijah Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorseto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Dorseto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigra. <coughs> As yep. much as Dorseto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigorath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. Almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Urnausprechlichen Kulten and the Necronomicon, and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Darseto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor, as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte Artis colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Sounds really good. Yeah, this is totally Call of Cthulhu. He inspired. But uh, Rob Robert Howard and H.P. Lovecraft had good targets because they part... Um, Mainstay of their writings is uh, basically the public domain in these days. Dito Aeneas. Opera Playbill, okay. Hmm. So, uh, Hartwood. Let's check every everything. Detective Combi, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to Norland. I think Sincere. you say. Jeremy. I think you say. Interesting. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning <laughs> for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink. He does the drinking part. The wishing tree in the conservatory. The wishing usual. tree. Then why all the excitement? That is just something about tonight, something different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. 
She'll come and turn the world inside out, and things will that be That is very too creepy. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. Right. Oh, God damn it, Grace, the key. stay put for once. First for Hawkey. I better mm. hold on to these. Wouldn't want them to get lost. Uh huh. Um. Grace is drawing, so we need to find her drawings. But first, we have a puzzle to solve. Nine one three. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. Uh -huh. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new worldview in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this worldview, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. <laughs> okay, hmm. Interesting. So, Dr. Gray's office. What's the fastest way there? Okay, that's the guest. Surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Sometimes, I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. Sounds like a norm normal geriatric house. Uh. Yeah, some wards are not for people to get he healthy and better. 
but to store them away. Nothing in here. Something has been both photographed. And this was uh, Ruth's room. meeting his this is my room what I as you should the indigo long here I recognize this view okay I know the combination I carry it with me I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. I wrote that. One, nine, six. One, nine, six, six, nine, two, L, A. License number. Six, nine, two. Six, nine, two. Okay. Old coin. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. My coffee. Missing drawings. How long have I been here? Too long. Bullet, bullet. So the has something hidden inside. Ah, uh, you can open this with, <laughs> with the coin. Okay, that's a uh, creepy art. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Probably not. The place changed it changed a bit. Yeah, but it changed a lot. Okay, I need the key. What the hell happened in here? 